Welcome, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of Weathermaker. In this short tutorial, you'll learn how to make an amazing sky in Weathermaker. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download the post processing stack, window, package manager, post processing, install. I've already installed it, and so the install button is just an update button. Next, add post process volume and post process layer to your main camera. Set the layer to a new post processing layer, which you can make by clicking add layer. Next, enable anti-aliasing on your post-process layer. I like SMAA, but you can also use FXAA or Temporal AA, and I would suggest turn off the deferred fog as Weathermaker has fog built in. The next thing to do is make a post-processing profile. You can click New, and then it will create the profile underneath your scene in the project view. On the profile, there's a number of effects to add. Add Bloom. Add Color Grading. Add depth of field, add, vignette. I've already gone through and found some good settings. For bloom, I use intensity 3. For color grading, I use mode, ASUS, and post exposure, 0.7. For depth of field, I use a focus distance of 3.5. For the vignette, I use intensity 0.3. The next thing to do is to make some clouds. In Weathermaker 6, which will be shipping soon, you can do clouds right in the editor, and I'll show you a preview of that now. Go to Clouds, Cloud Profile, and simply click to a cloud profile. In editor mode, you can tweak your camera to look more at the sky. So I'm going to look over here, over the water. Right now the sky is looking pretty good, but we can make it look even better. Let's go ahead and click on the day-night cycle, and change our time of day to give us more of a sunset sunrise. That looks pretty good right there. I've changed the cloud directional light gradient to be more red. You can see this makes the clouds much more red during the sunset. But then as you come out of the sunset, the sky turns back more to normal. Another option is you can go to your color grading and you can change the color filter property. Right now it's set to white, but if you have a sunset scene, you could certainly pink that up a little bit. And now we've got a really nice pink looking sunset that you may see in some styles of movies or games. Probably the last thing you should do if you want some good high motion clouds is to go back to your cloud profile and change the cloud coverage velocity. In order to see the velocity change in action, you need to go to your scene view and make sure animated materials are on. This will put things in a constant update loop. One more thing you can do if you want to make the clouds bigger is lower the cloud coverage scale. Now the clouds are much bigger and more spread out. But depending on the style you want, you can tweak that. One of the last things I wanted to show you all is the rolling storm demo. So if you go to Weathermaker Prefab Full Screen Effects Clouds, you can change your profile to rolling storm. And I've found this looks really nice and menacing around 830 or so. Now out of the box this profile is set to have more higher clouds, so they reach higher in the sky. It's set to have a more dense bottom. And it also disables the sun gradient, so during a sunrise and sunset you don't get these different colors going through the clouds because this is a nice thick storm layer that doesn't really have that kind of a gradient during a sunset. One other thing that this special profile has is it has a profile one, which is a flat layer. You can see up above the sky is kind of green and gray, and that's this cloud layer. So as I tweak these colors, that layer changes. So you can actually use the flat clouds with the volumetric clouds to come up with some interesting effects. And make sure that you have set your cloud layer mask, which is near the bottom of the volumetric layer profile, and in this case I'm allowing flat layers 1 and 4. That's it for a beautiful Weathermaker sky. You can try the different cloud profiles for different types of clouds. But with a little bit of post-processing and some tweaks to your clouds, you can really make some amazing cloud profiles. Good luck on your games or app. I hope you all have a very wonderful day.